Hello everybody, so here we are ready to start our text map all about Jack and the Beanstalk to tell the story for Jack to teach Leo. So to start with, we need to start with a title. So the title of our story is Jack. So let's see if you can make your Jack. There he is. And let's put a j, j, j for Jack. And the beanstalk. How's yours looking? Super. Okay, so there's our title up in the middle. So to start off our story, when we were doing it with our actions, we used what phrase? Once. How does every um, fairy tale always start with once upon a time? And we used our hands together and opened like a book, didn't we? So down on the first part of our sentence. Now, when we're reading and when we're writing, we always start down here on the left. So on your piece of paper or on your board, whatever you're writing on, see if you can make a book that's opening. There we go. Once upon a time, there lived, who is this? A little boy named Jack. Who lived? Where did he live? Do you remember? Was it a big hotel? Was it in a tent in the desert? No, he lived in a little cottage. We need a little house. You remember how to draw houses? And we did lots of work on that, so I'm sure yours will be fabulous. There's his little house. Maybe I'll put some windows on too. Ooh, this is really tricky to write on this board today. In a little cottage with his... Here's his mother. Do you remember? Let's give her some long hair. She is, she's looking pretty happy at the moment. You've got one eye though, there's her other eye. Okay, so once upon a time there lived a little boy named Jack who lived in a cottage with his mother. Did they have lots of money? No, they were very poor. So let's see if we can draw some money, some coins, maybe some notes. There's another note. But they didn't have the money, so shall we put a big cross through the money? Let's read it from the side again. Once upon a time, there lived a little boy named Jack, who lived in a cottage with his mother. They were very poor. Well done, friends. Have you got all the way to the end of that sentence? Now we've finished our sentence, we're going to put a full stop. And now we need to go to the next line. So, to get to the right place, we go down and under to our next place. So we always start at that side of the page when we're reading and writing. I'm gonna move my page up a little bit so we've got some space. So, the next part when we, when we were using our actions was one day. So every day starts with the sun coming up. So there's our sun. One day, remember we did one and our hand coming across. One day, where did he go? Jack went to the market. Let's see if I can do a market stall. Kind of. <laughs> he went to the market. What did he get sent to the market to do? To sell the... Yeah, to sell the cow. Now I think you will be able to draw a much better cow than mine. I'm going to give it a go on this tricky board. There's his head. Let's make him a body, an oval body. How many legs will he need? One, two... Three, he's got a very fat bottom. Four, let's give him a tail. 
and maybe the action we did was the horns, we need to give him his horns, some eyes, there's his nose, make it a bit more cow-like, let's give him a pattern, there's our cow, for now, okay, remember it's a quick jotting, it's not, a f it's not got to be fabulously perfect, it's just to help us learn the words and the story, so from that line again, one day he went to market to sell the cow. Along the way, he met. Who did he meet? A little man. There's his walking stick. Let's give him a hat. So a little man selling. He had a big sack of magic beans. He gave the beans to Jack for the cow. That one is Jack. Okay, we finished that line. Move on down to the next one. Remember that big long arrow goes all the way to the other side. Remember our eyes follow the words all the way to the other side of the page. Okay, now he's taken those beans home. What happens now? Oh, he sees his mum. His mum was. she happy? No, she wasn't happy. What was she? Furious! Oh, she's so cross. Still give her some hair. She was furious. Maybe we do some like shouty marks. She was so cross that she threw the beans out of the good remembering out of the window. Oh, put some shutters on the window. They went out of the window. They maybe landed in the grass. Let's do some grass. Oh goodness. And where did he get sent? Jack got sent to yeah, you're right. Can you draw a little bed? Here's Jack laying in his bed. Oh dear. It'd be quite sad, wouldn't he? He got sent to bed. Let's read that sentence from the beginning. Mum was furious, so she threw the beans out of the window and sent him to bed. Okay, let's go ahead and have a full stop. Start the next new line. Ooh, went a bit wobbly. Okay, friends, let's finish this part one off. So, he's gone to bed the, the night before he went to bed. So now in the morning, he's got to wake up. Early next morning, so when you wake up, you usually give it a nice big stretch, don't you? Shall we see? Let's see if I can draw him stretching his arms up this time. Oh, good morning, Jack. Early next morning, let's do the sun coming up too. Shiny sun. Early next morning, Jack looked out of the window. There's a big eyebrow looked. He looked out of the window and saw an enormous beanstalk. And then he couldn't resist. He had to climb up it, didn't he? He wanted to see what was up the beanstalk. 
with my arms. <laughs> Don't know how many fingers are on that one. <laughs> he climbed up the beanstalk, but how many times did he climb? How many times do we say that word climb? He climbed and climbed and climbed. Yep, three times until he reached the top. There's the clouds at the top. Wow, let's read that one all the way from the start of that sentence. Early next morning, Jack looked out of the window and saw an enormous beanstalk. He climbed and climbed and climbed until he reached the top. Wow, well done everybody. We finished the whole of that text map for part one. That was brilliant. Well done. I hope you had fun writing your own text map. I'd love to see some examples if you could ask Mummy or Daddy or whoever's helping you to add your photo to our tapestry post. That would be wonderful. I can't wait to see them. Have a fun rest of your day and we'll carry on with part two next time. See you later.